Hi, I'm Joe Steinmeier. I work in the EECS department here at MIT, and I teach some of the intro classes as well as control theory. Hi, I'm Jacob White. I also teach at MIT. I teach intro classes, uh, also classes in machine learning, numerical algorithms, and teach with Joe in feedback control. In this first look at feedback control on MITx, we're going to show you in, with a hands-on approach how we try to design feedback control systems. And we'll also give you the theory to help you understand how we do the designs. What you'll do is to build this uh, propeller levitated arm. It's got an Arduino inside it that you will be programming. You'll build a small amount of circuitry, and you'll assemble the mechanical arm from part. You'll also be using a, a browser-based uh, interface that will allow you to see what's going on with the arm. So, for example, it will plot for you the angle of the arm. You can see it, the plot of the angle as I lift the arm up and move it down. You can see the, the plots of the angle change. You'll have a control over the direct command which causes the propeller to spin. And what we're doing with this arm is to try to control the propeller speed so that it keeps the arm level and we're measuring the angle and using the angle to control the speed of the propeller. If we use proportional gain, which you'll learn about in this class, we can get it to the arm to move closer to level, but not perfectly. And if we turn the feedback gain up too high, it will start to oscillate and that oscillation will grow, but we can stop it from oscillating by adding what's called derivative or delta feedback, which I've turned on now. And then once we have delta feedback on, we can have complete control of the arm. We can move it up, we can move it down, it will hold that position. And when we blow on it, it will come right back. You'll learn about all these things and how to design these kinds of controllers and what each of these terms mean and what they're doing and how to mathematically analyze them in this first introduction to feedback control. You can get these parts in lots of different places in the world. Uh, we have a couple vendors on our site, but a lot of these things you can get anywhere. And what you're going to do, you as a student, is you're going to actually put them together and build a system over here. Um, and this is really engineering at its core, right? You're going to be taking a lot of these cheap, inexpensive pieces, putting them together and actually through engineering and math, getting a nice high performance engineering system. Welcome to Joe and Jacob's version of Feedback Control, a first look. We look forward to seeing you online and interacting with you in the discussion groups.